Welcome to Simply Apple. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use a multitasking bar. For this video demonstration, I will be using the iPad. So what exactly is a multitasking bar? Or more appropriately, what is a multitasking bar used for? Well, the multitasking bar is actually used for a few different reasons. However, the multitasking bar is most commonly used to switch between recently opened apps. Let me go ahead and demonstrate this on my iPad. To bring up the multitasking bar, press your home button twice rather rapidly. And when you do this, a small bar will appear at the bottom of your iPad. It shows the last apps that you have opened. The first app on the left you see is the last app you had opened. So in my case, I had notes open and then settings and then mail and then so on and so forth. By swiping to the left, I'm able to see additional apps that I have recently had opened. Again, I can swipe back and forth. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and press the Notes app icon. And as you can see, the Notes app opens up. Once again, I'm going to double press the Home button and the multitasking bar opens up again. And this time, I'm going to go ahead and tap on where it says Safari. And as you can see on the screen, Safari is now open. Once again, I double tap the Home button. And this time, I'm going to press Notes again. I double press the home button and this time I want to press settings. As you can see, I can rapidly go back and forth between recently opened apps. In addition, the multitasking bar also has a hidden area. If I slide my finger to the right on the multitasking bar, you will see a variety of additional buttons and settings. On the far left, you will either see the lock rotation button or the mute button. The reason why you either see the lock rotation button or the mute button is dependent on what you have the side switch set up to do. Next to the screen orientation or mute button, you will find the brightness slider. This slider will allow you to alter the brightness of your iPad screen. Next to that, you will find a reverse button, play button, and forward button. These buttons are a quick way to control music as it's being played on your iPad. On the right side of this area, you will also see a volume slider, which will allow you to change the volume of the iPad. And finally, on the far right, you will commonly see the music app icon. This is a shortcut to be able to quickly launch the music app. I should note that you can leave the multitasking bar in three different ways. You can simply tap on an app icon to open the app and close the multitasking bar. You could tap on the iPad screen outside of the multitasking bar, or you could just press the home button to close the multitasking bar. Mastering the multitasking bar will allow you to be more efficient and effective with your iPad. And until next time, this is Simply Apple.